Let's review this case of a 7 years old domestic long hair cat presented for two days of vomiting and anorexia. On blood work, mild azotemia was noted. Based on the clinical sign, abdominal radiographs were performed. On this lateral view, we notice two population of bowel. We see ventrally several jejunal loop, collapse, and normal in diameter, contrasting with the other segments located craniodorsally, which are now either fluid or gas distended. This finding is also confirmed on this ventrodorsal view, where we see gas and fluid distended jejunal segment. In addition, in this location, we see this unusual angular interface between what is believed to be a fluid fill jejunum and this unusually radiolucent irregular structure. Based on the suspicion of obstruction secondary to a fine body, an abdominal ultrasound was performed and starting by the stomach we see that the fundus is mostly collapsed and contains a small amount of gas. We then migrate the probe slightly towards the right side of the cat and reach the fluid filled pylorus located dorsally to a very large amount of falciform fat. Then we reach the fluid fill duodenum, small amount of gas is seen as well. The descending duodenum diameter is about 12 millimeter, which is excessive. And in addition, we see an increase in peristaltic activity. It can be challenging to follow intestinal loops. But in this case where we have moderate distension of the bowel segment, it wasn't too difficult to achieve that examination. We notice that the wall thickness and layering is still within normal limits in the distended segment. We end up following the last turn of this distended jejunal segment leading to this angular structure that has a hyperechoic interface associated with strong shadowing and the loop just codal to that structure returned to a normal diameter. This ultrasonographic feature are supportive of an obstructing fine body. Based on the radiographic and ultrasonographic finding, the cat was sent to surgery and a piece of foamy material was obstructing the mid jejunum. It was removed and the cat recovered uneventfully. <laughs>